I'm Becky. I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bakery Book Reviews. Today we're talking about What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum, which is about Kit and David. And they are high school seniors, I think. And Kit's father just died literally a month ago. And David is kind of the odd boy at school that, as you read, you find out he has a form of autism. And Kit just basically doesn't want to have to deal with her friends anymore. So she sits down at David's lunch table and his directness and his basically not making her talk they kind of like form this connection and um they start as i don't like anything really big spoilers away they start a project together that would help kind of resolve an issue kids has with her father's death and i'm trying to think of a way to say this and um they form and kind of form form a relationship together and there's like a little bit of a romance possibly I mean, yeah, they're just trying to find their own place in the world, and Kit's trying to heal, but David's kind of trying to be more present. Right. And so I really, I did really like this book. I liked the the portrayal of autism because they do come out and say that, I think they actually come out and say that he would have had Asperger's, but for people who don't know, they kind of taken Asperger's away and just folded it into autism, which people with Asperger's are very upset about this. And it would be very upsetting. It would be. It's like a totally different thing. Um, and that's part of identity. And so basically he's functioning and he's trying to fit in and he's trying to figure out how things go. And it really kind of shows like all of these little things he does to better fit in. Like he has a notebook where he has all of these information about people because he doesn't understand interactions. I mean, I definitely think that it addresses autism in a way that I haven't seen in many other YA novels. Um, I don't think I've ever seen the kind of social counselor that he has. Right. He has this like weekly counselor who comes in and he doesn't realize this, but the counselor is actually there trying to help him kind of figure out how to interact with the world. Um, and that it also definitely kind of presents him in a way that isn't the other. Like many times in autism book, or like books with kids with autism, there is this otherness. But in this book, she's able to show kind of how he fights with his sister. Like a nor I mean, right. like there's a normal brother-sister relationship where she's helping him kind of navigate the world. But then there's also this kind of like rivalry where he annoys the crap out of her, which is very true. It's a little brother. Well, and I also, um, I was going to say something. I just totally lost it. There was, <laughs> oh, I like the fact that he's an autistic character that can be a romantic lead. Yeah, that's true. You don't see that very you often. You never see that. Though I just don't know how I feel about the dual perspectives because it does go, there's, the chapters alternate between David and Kit. And the way that Kit sees David and the way that David actually is, they just don't gel for me. But I feel like that's the point. Like, the way I see myself and the way you see me are very different. Right, but it just, I don't, I don't know what it is. It doesn't gel. Because I've seen it done like that in other books, like Female of the Species, and it works really well. And it's, like, fascinating and adds a whole new layer. In this, it just didn't gel. I didn't see kind of how the avenues connected. But is that another because it's the asp or the autism Asperger issue? Because also, um, kind of like playing with that, Kit's like, okay, yeah, I'm kind of pretty. Whereas David said she's the most beautiful girl in school. So I mean, it's kind of like that kind of stuff too. I don't know. I I don't know. Just for some reason, it didn't it didn't gel for me. And my other thing that I come back to, like, would he have gotten as much kind of notoriety or as much kind of interest if he hadn't have been as hot as he was? Well, that's true. That was kind of frustrating. Well, but they do say that, like, his sister was supposed to be, like, homecoming queen and the most pretty girl in school. But they also said she's also supposed to be one of the nicest girls in school. So, I mean, it would make sense for him to be attractive. And is he really, really, like dreamy like I want him to just die he's so attractive or is it oh they took a guy that nobody noticed and made him kind of cute so I mean it's high school <laughs> I mean um, whatever yeah <laughs> um did you have any I know that you thought that there was a lot of kind of ripple effect going on I did I thought that was interesting like she I mm -hmm. thought that she did that did that well where it's like this person did this and this affected it this way and I thought she showed really how everybody kind of, um, their actions interact and how they kind of build off of each other. I thought that was interesting. See, and that I didn't really notice as much. Um, I think it's been done better in other ways. Like, The Sun is Also a Star does that really well, but I didn't feel it as much in this novel. And so, 
I started off really liking this book, and I think it comes back to the fact that do I really like this book because of the author, or do I really like this book because of it, because of the book? And the more that I kind of talk about it, the more that I kind of sit with it, the more I'm like, mm, I just, I think I like this book more because of the author, not because of what the book is. Because of Tell Me Three Things. Right. Tell Me Three Things was phenomenal. Like, it was amazing. Favorite book of its year. But, like, this one, I think I wanted to like it more than I actually did. Interesting. That's my problem with it. Should we rate it? Yeah. So our rating system is based on a unicorn to horse scale. We start with five unicorns. We go down to two if we just kind of like it. If we don't like it at all, it's a horse. I am going to give, what to say next? I'm going to give it four unicorns. I liked it. I liked the depiction of autism. I liked the, the interaction between David and Kit. I even kind of liked the way she dealt with Kit dealing with the grief of her father dying. I, I thought there was something genuine about it. See, and I, I wasn't a fan of that either. I'm not a fan of a lot of things, but yet I still feel myself giving it three unicorns. Just because, like, I mean, it. I can see myself recommending it. I can see, the author definitely pushes it there. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a solid romance, and I mean, it does have a solid standard to it. Okay. And that's where we are on um, what to say next. Adios. Bye.